Hi everyone. Olitha is the car we wish BMW had built, an uncompromised synthesis of BMW's greatest design, engineering, and racing achievements. We preserve the foundations of German engineering and precision while infusing American ingenuity and passion. We created this vehicle to provoke a tactile, unfiltered, and challenging driving experience. Olitha is our love letter to the BMW of our childhoods, a manifestation of our memories and dreams. The Olitha isn't based on the Z8 convertible that BMW briefly built in the early 2000s. Instead, it has much humbler roots. Judging from the interior shots and the shape of the rear windshield, the first-generation BMW Z4's coupe variant is the donor vehicle. The Olitha coupe is powered by a choice of two legendary BMW engines, the S65 B44 MV8, a stroker version of the S65 B40 of the E90 generation M3 with more than 450 horsepower and an 8500 revolutions per minute redline, or a stroked S54 M inline 6 with displacement of 3.5 liters and output of 400 horsepower. Both are backed by a 6-speed manual transmission, inhale through a carbon fiber intake manifold, and exhale through an exhaust system made of stainless steel and imcanal. Power is delivered to the rear axle by way of a three-clutch limited slip differential, and the suspension uses KW to weigh adjustable dampers, while other components like the control arm are made of lightweight aluminum. Smith Vehicle Engineering has done away with the flame surfacing of the donor and gone instead with a smooth, almost voluptuous body fully crafted from carbon fiber composites. This helps keep a check on weight, with the curb weight claimed to be just 3,090 pounds. In terms of dimensions, although the underpinnings come directly from the Z4 M coupe, the footprint of the Olitha is almost identical to the Z8, at approximately 171 inches long and 73 inches wide. However, while the aluminum-bodied Z8 has torsional rigidity of 10,500 newton meters, the carbon fiber body and other elements of its construction allow the Olitha to be quite a bit stiffer with a rating of 30,000 newton meters. The carbon fiber body also has an active rear spoiler, and the 3,090 pound curb weight, which is roughly 400 pounds less than the Z8, should make for exceptional driving dynamics. The chassis features KW's to weigh adjustable suspension, as well as AP racing brakes, forged mono block wheels, and Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Buyers can also specify a carbon barrel wheel option for further weight reduction. Interior photos are not yet available. But the cabin is built as driver focused with high quality materials, the choice of many of which is at the discretion of the commissioning buyer. Other interior highlights include a choice between 8 way adjustable touring or carbon fiber seats, and what's described as an audiophile grade sound system. The principals of that team are Kais and Willem Smith, brothers who are also engineers, the latter of whom previously served as the engineering manager at Singer Vehicle Design. The broader organization includes staff with prior experience at firms such as Tesla, General Electric, Applied Composites, and San Diego Composites. For the Smith brothers, the fascination with BMW began with the brand's golden age, when their father owned an E39 M5. The choice to take Z4 M coupe underpinnings, and to combine them with Z07 and Z8 design, with power from two of the company's most celebrated engines was an obvious one. When asked why the Smith brothers chose to turn their attention to BMW, Willem Smith explained the following, It felt like there wasn't a great product like this on the market utilizing a BMW platform. Coming from my previous job at Singer Vehicle Design, Kais and I were all too familiar with every iteration of Porsche Ristomat under the sun, and lamented the lack of a good BMW competitor. We also always loved the M3 GTR story, and how BMW showed up to ALMS with a V8 while Porsche was stuck with their six-cylinder motor. Starting price is $450,000. That's a lot, but for that sum you're getting a rare car that is almost entirely built by hand. Thank you for watching the video, and do not forget to support us, like and subscribe to the channel. I wish you a happy day.